Joker, it's your boy, Mr. Sarek, well, for another video. Um, hey, today, you know, I was trying to stream, um, 2K21 demo, right? Um... It won't let me broadcast it for y'all on Xbox. I'm not the only person with this problem. A bunch of other people have the same problem right now. Um, before I get all into detail, just please click like and subscribe to the channel. Hear me out, everybody. You know, this is some shit that definitely, definitely need to be a fucking address, you know what I'm saying? Um, if you follow me on Instagram, friends with me on Facebook, you know, whatever, Twitter, all that shit, you can see in my posts that I've been posting, you know what I'm saying? Just paint up say one is where it's the NBA 2K21 app. You know how you supposed to do the face scan and people supposed to, you know, you supposed to see your face, right? It won't let you. Period. Cause the app don't assist, and I expect you to do something with an app that's not even fucking up. The 2K20 app that was broken and shit fucked up. But the option in the last year demo that they did better is transfer um, your face scan automatically from 19 to 20. But 20 to 21, don't know what the fuck had repeat what they did that shit last year because that app was broken as hell last year. Complete trash. So luckily for me, my shit for 19 transferred to fucking 20, but well, nothing like me that much. Um, that's one major gripe about that shit. The second fucking major gripe is every time I try to broadcast 2K21 demo on Twitch, I'll keep saying this game don't allow broadcasting. What the fuck? Man, on Xbox, it don't allow broadcasting. 2K know the fucking game is trash. It don't want to let the people allow the broadcasting of the damn game. Ass, bro. Complete ass. They know this shit, bro. They know this. And, personally, yeah, I wasn't gonna buy a fucking 20 more anyway, because I know the same fucking bullshit gonna go down like it did, you know, the last couple of days of 20. Um, I'm gonna take you into fucking details on how bullshit the creator of play is. I'm gonna tell you how 19, 20 guy right compared to fucking um 21. Before you not know, go into full details about the build, for example, now we'll make. And shit. The shot fucking meter is the same damn shot meter from 2K17. And I, my personal opinion, they should never change it from 17 to 18 from the way they had it. And personally, I believe that, you know, why the fuck gonna wait three years later, bro? Now, going on four years, man. Just to change the fucking shot back that we had from 2017. But 2016. Recent, you know, I'm not trying to say 2016, but it's crazy, man. And you know how like, you shoot and a little flash come up the screen, like a little spark, and you can hit all the fucking sparks at the right, the same spot, right? You can hit the middle of the little black little line, 
and you still fucking miss. You be missing fucking wild open shots, airballing, pillar full of tail. I didn't even fucking want to play the damn game after I create my own player. And I just stood there fucking around before I landed and seeing how fucked up the damn shot made it is and how the fucked up even worse from 17. After years and years after that, you had to learn from shooting on the bottom again. Um, shooting from the side. And now, it's back shooting on the top again. Which they totally, completely fucked it up. Completely. And people keep making excuses for this fucking game, bro. I'm going to make a corn draw for you, alright? I already got one already. If you see my last video. It's on YouTube right now. I made it on Friday. But I'm going to make the same as that shit. And I'm going to get into details on what they took out. Of 20. And the way the fucking shit is. I'm playing it. One. I went for the shooting and the playmaking chart, right? So automatically, you no. Know, boom. I'm gonna choose the no this chart. Automatically. Boom. You know what I'm saying? This this way I can seize the fucking uh you no know, badges and shit. There's ways you can cheese it in 21 too, but it's fucking worse in 21. So of course I'm gonna keep my speed 90 and keep all this shit the same. After this, after, you know, the step after you, you know, level everything out and estimate how you want it, shit get worse. And let you know, my people who see it right now, I am not streaming on freaking 21 I can't do not let me at all for Xbox so I'm doing this from 2k20 and showing y'all the shit that took out from 21 cause 21 is so damn ass they don't want you to see how fucking ass it is on live stream so I gotta go back to the previous year just to show you how ass the game got even worse and why I'm glad I didn't buy that shit so for instance you know I max out my shooting, my deep point. That's the first thing I do. And was throwing on uh, 21. Had my close shot. About maxed out. But the close shot on 21 goes in this build goes to uh, a 93, I believe. 93, 92. On here, it goes to a 85. Driving layup goes to a about the same. Driving dunk is higher from the same build, like a 80 estimate around 80 around there in 2K21. So the rest of the post, I don't worry about that shit because I'm gonna come back to it anyway and show y'all how to get some more um, free throw. Put it at 70 because. The free throws bullshit anyway. Amber by the post rate that much. So I'll put it at 70. So I'll have to fade the whole lot. Pass accuracy. Of course I have it maxed out. I had the ball, I have it maxed out. I'm not gonna have no form post moves that much. So I'm gonna drop it down to about a 71 57 at the moment. Maybe probably 60. I'm gonna you know keep tweaking it. Um and tier and defense and bullshit. I'm gonna worry about my perimeter. And we're about to tear that much. Um had about sixty nine at the moment or equipment's about sixty nine at the moment. And we're about that much but the still couldn't call fouls anyway, so I'm gonna keep the steals all the way down. About to um a fifty seven or fifty five. Just in no fucking way. Blocks anyway hell. Put it at high. But like a thirty five. 
uh, offensive rebound. Had the shit maxed out at the moment. It had defensive rebound maxed out at the moment. I didn't have it maxed out to a 70. I don't put it down to a 65. And I'll come back with that shit. And the thing. The same way to get more badges in 21 is the same way in here. You just gotta estimate on certain things how you want your player. So if I want my driving up, I'm gonna keep tweaking with the layups. I managed to get seven finishing up in 21, but in here it's four. The free throws ain't right about the much to send you and miss that bullshit anyway, so it's a give or take. So I'll just keep it at 70 anyway. Uh, the defense. Just to get more defensive badge. Only thing I would do personally is level it out. Um, just level it out a little bit. And we'll find some of the cheese. Get about 6 or maybe 7. Um, really don't want that much for, you know, hair like that. Guess it's the same as that bullshit over and over again. Um, let me see. Get about five at the moment. I'm going to tweak it up a little bit more. Um, personally... I would keep this about the same on everything and just max. I'm trying to tweak my interior. No. I'm going to tweak these two. Back and forth. That's it. This is the same little method I'm doing right now. It's the same shit that will happen. In 19, damn, my bad. 21. Let me all fucked up with this game right now. You know, this is 72 of the bills already made already. Um, it's really. Nothing really, just like oh fuck you. Cause you know you can pick anything you want to and uh, fucking two K. It'd be the same as that bullshit. Dead eye those like that. And then you really want more shooting a little bit. So the pass accuracy across all that shit down. Cause you really don't care that much for the pass accuracy a little the ball handed down a little bit. Cause you're still gonna cheese it. After this little method do the cheese as hell. So as you see, I got it. Um, go down the post move a little bit down to a 50. It's still cheesy out a little bit. Boom. Got 16. Uh, shooting. The pitching, play making, and I'm still gonna, you know, bring that shit back up. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Take one of those down a little bit. You 
you know, put it on the free dub post, whatever. Boom, that's how I'm gonna do it. Or I could take these two out a little bit and put that shit to defense, maybe. You know, it's all it is, so. So that's how the same method actually show y'all how it is on night 21. You know, the same as that method I'm showing out right now, same way it's gonna be on 21. But the catch 22 of the whole thing will be <sighs> the fucking. Okay, you look at the bills in 21 too. Compact look fucking small as hell on 21 right there. So, between one, the height, you know how it gains and decrease stuff, but it decreased more. Like, if you want to be like a 64 on 21, your shit won't decrease. It will not gain at all for anything else. Um, most like your ball handling, your pay making, your accuracy, your passing, your shit, all that shit will decrease. Only that will increase defense. And some of your um your close shots, not all, but some. Your layers will definitely increase, you know that bullshit. Your shooting will a little bit decrease. Turn one. It's still gonna get it. So in twenty, of course it's more simple, just keep it like this and just mass it out. Because you decrease, of course you gain some, but not that much. And of course, your defense is going to decrease way more the shorter you make it do. So that's why 20, the on point, will have it like, you know, bounce out. And, you know, here, when you lower down your weight, you lose speed, but you gain more defense, like steals, right? And when you gain it in here, you gain more strength, but you lose more, you know, lateral quickness and stuff, right? So, that's one thing that y'all definitely really should look at. Because when you increase your weight in 21, everything else gain, but 20, it you know, game like you lose more in 20, but you gain in 21 or increasing your weight. Very OP and bull, in my personal opinion. Um, shit will decrease too on your weight in here, like your acceleration, your speed, but your motion acceleration and vertical will decrease. But 21, that shit will increase, kinda. It's, it's a stupid way to have it. <coughs> All around. No fucking excuse of what they, you know, trying to say and proclaim. All around, just dumb, in my personal opinion. In the wingspan, and 21. That I really hate that 20 does way better. Is, when you decrease your wingspan in 21, right? Your shooting, your mid range three pointer, and your playmaking will go up and increase. And only will lower down a little bit of your defense so you're still in block. But in 21, though, your fucking close shot, your driving layup, your driving dunk, all your finishing will decrease in 21. That is the most stupid thing ever. Everything will decrease. Only the shooting and playmaking will go up, but everything else, defense and finishing, will decrease bad in 21 with this wingspan. And this wingspan up in 20 is way better. The same as that wingspan, but just losing more. But the same as that build, too. And if you increase your wingspan in here, the weird thing is. 21, the shooting stuff will go up, but when it go up higher, you know what I'm saying? But the only thing that will go up more is like your passing, your loose ball handling, and posting all that shit. 
your defense and your close your finishing close shots and all that will always go more in 21. That's where they drop the ball at of those major things like that. Bad. So it's like a little pre-build. It's not my real build. I already got a fucking shooting build, a bunch of shooting builds already. And I'm gonna show you right here too, right? The badges on 21. Hear me out. Okay, hear me out. The badges on 21, right? It's pitiful. Oh. Went too far back. Hold on a second very quick, everybody. Hold on a second very quick. Okay, sorry for delay, everybody, but I'm back. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, the badges at 21 is the last thing I want to clarify in this game, okay? The very, very, very last thing is. You know, if you get 15 pay making badges, shooting badges, defensive, you know. Everybody knows from like estimate around 7 or 8, by estimate around 7 the most, will automatically go down to uh, 11. A low overall, right? And, like, me probably get gold, silver, whatever. You know that bullshit. Um, and, uh, if you have 15 pay making badges, 16, whatever, shooting, defense, whatever, it limit you. You can't put all them badges in the Hall of Fame. So, what type of badge that you want on Hall of Fame? Like it is on 20, so like if you want quick draw, they took that shit out on 21. That's one of the worst things they ever did for a shooter. Check out the quick draw for the speed of the shot that people got used to this year. But like one year in the game, people got swipe away for the next year. So, if I want like deep phase Hall of Fame, I can't put this in the Hall of Fame. It'll slap a gold. Say, if I want, um, Difficult shots Hall of Fame. It won't let me. It'll stop a go. Say if I want um unpluckable and pit pocket, whatever, right? It will only go to silver for pit pocket and shit like that. So things like that is thing that really, really made twenty one horrible. And I really was trying to show y'all the bullshit on twenty one itself. But I can't because I'm on Xbox and it won't broadcast the damn to the game. It's not broadcastable and it's stupid as hell because I think 2K know what the fuck they're doing and don't want the world to see the bullshit of the game they're releasing out every single damn year. I know it's a long video, but who cares, man? Um, honestly, I really could care less. I'm staying at 20. I'm staying at 20. I'm not going to fuck with 21 at all. It's stupid, pitiful. Not even the worth of it. It not even call it a game. I call it a travesty like it was the past couple years now. I didn't buy 20 at all game share. This game not even worth game share. That's how bad it is. Matter for the fact that app always be broken every single time. When the demo come out, the app is trash. 
um the shooting that took it back if you hadn't paid 17 you won't understand the shooting on 21 you really won't so if you definitely have to pay 17 just to realize no the shooting it was then then you gotta go back three do you going on four years now or going on four years now just to go back on how it was shooting four years ago um I give 21 the demo unplayable unreadable you can't even broadcast the game that's how bad it is and I gotta go back on 20 to explain myself and show people the bullshit that took away the heights no the way you put your heights and all that shit the arm length all that stuff that took away is horrible now I didn't even play the first game that how bad it was after I realized I'm trying to make the same as that build the last build that I made my last video this point guard not the one I'm playing right now but I got another point guard it's more similar to a better and it's just stupid man it's really stupid it's an excuse what they call a game cause I don't call it a game period there's no way around it please don't waste your money if you pre-order 2K21, I feel sorry for you. Ask for a refund. I don't care if Corey Bryant is on the cover or that. It is not fucking worth it. It's not even worth it if it's free. It's fucking broken, as always. Every single year. Before the release of the game, they're going to patch the game and be broken again. The game will fucking crash, as they always do every single fucking year. Please save your money, everybody. Just please, man. Like... 2K another game is bad if you can't broadcast the game itself off Xbox on Twitch. What kind of bullshit is this? Go on my Instagram, go on my Facebook at Mr. Cyric and you will see what I'm talking about. Screenshots from my phone to the T off my TV is pitiful, man. And personally, I'd rather stay. I know what I'm doing. I am going to stay back and play 20 for the next year again okay because i'm not gonna waste my time on 21 period and none of y'all should either no this will probably be the last two game well 20 years last two game, game ever i will play personally but i better wait for live or some play any other game ground follow game play whatever man just play an indie game if they ever make an independent game because 2K is unbuyable, unplayable, a joke for a game, only for greed. People who took a long time and months just to find a perfect jump shot and badges on 20, like myself, took like this past Friday just to find the right shot for a point guard and the right badges that play with it, just to go back to an old shooting method four years ago that most people. Person, this should never change anyway, but got yeah, used to the past couple of four years from 18 until 19, and of course, 20, the same bull. So, 2K <sighs> know what they're doing, man. Make sure you follow me, man. I follow y'all back, and subscribe to me on YouTube. I'm Mr. Sari. Hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. This video won't be on YouTube, man. I know it's a 30 minute video. Fuck y'all. I'm trying to show y'all gameplay, but I can't. It's 2K, you know, know what the hell they're doing, and I want the truth to be exposed. So I'm exposing this truth off the previous year game that I'm going to keep playing until next year. And personally, if y'all want to get techno, really, 2K16, a five year old game, is still better than the rest of the 2k games that ever came out after you don't gotta put all this make some imaginary damn build up like put a fucking sharp shooting on the fucking paint beast and shit like that no like it is on 20 none of shit not even possible man like make it realistic man the whole game is a joke, man. They know this. Ryan 2K don't care about you. Nobody on 2K don't care about you. Only they care about your money and your VC. Just to buy 
the VC in the game is going to be higher than it is this year. And until 2K come up with them conclusion and transfer VC from previous 2K games, then maybe that and put better gameplay in. Fuck, who cares if they have a car in the game this year? Who cares if they have a skateboard? BMX, whatever. If I'm a skateboard car and a BMX, I'll buy Tony Hawk, buy Grand Theft Auto, buy Saints Row, or any game that I want those in. I want a basketball game with physics and approve everything. Stop taking shit away just to put more memory for shit that's useless than that in the game. Take a quick draw for a damn car. Take a shit. Have the same power charge. But hold you for the size of your player. There are a bunch of damn big men that they can shoot. Like seven foot one and taller. Look at Manute Bo's son, Bobo. He can shoot threes. So you tell me I can't make a fucking height and build like him? Because you're going to limit the people for fucking shooting and decrease it? Get out of here, man. <coughs> it just. Oh, man. This game just fucking made me pissed off. What are you talking about it, man? I'm not even fucking going to waste and play the damn demo. <laughs> it's not even worth playing to show y'all. That's how bad the game is, man. And it's the truth. I don't care if Ronnie 2 k watching this. I don't care if anybody from 2 k watching this. Until y'all come up with a perfect basketball game, that when you're going to find my service again. Because I'm not going to waste my money and time on a broken game, bro. Nobody shouldn't. Period. Even fans from the OG 2Ks. Stop supporting 2K, bro. Wait till live come up with another game. You know, wait, bro. Like, there's no formal excuse that they can say or do to make games better. You're a fucking three-point specialist. Missing wide open threes from the corner. Missing greens. Slow animation scoring from a layup. They force you to go to a layup while you're standing in the paint for a regular mid-range shot. Missing free throws. You gotta have a basketball green machine just a green most nine times out of ten. People still miss with it. People make excuses saying this is not like career, you can't make all these shots in career that you can on park and rec. What's the point of staying at a certain shot and career so you can't do it in fucking park and rec? The same exact spots, the same shot selections. It is a travesty, it's pitiful man. And we all know this. We all got to together. People who've been 2K fans, don't matter how many years, man, if you want a bad basketball game, don't buy 21, period. Save your money. Don't waste your time, period. Because you know when the game going to drop, man. You're going to see the same ratings. Two stars, one and a half star. Over and over and over again. Please, man. I'm just warning y'all, man. I know it's a long video, but fuck it. The truth gotta be known, man. A change gotta come in this community, man. You know, I respect people on YouTube who do, you know, have forced their opinions on how they feel about the game. But make the game better. And before I go, man, I'm gonna put my homie in the game, man. Hold on a second. Put my homie Kobe in the game so he can speak on his opinions of the video, man. Yo, what's good, Kobe? You're on my YouTube channel, man. Tell everybody, bro, uh, how pitiful 2K is in your opinion. Because I got finished playing the demo. I didn't even play the whole demo yet. And to create a player is a whole joke compared to last year. Kobe, you know that point that I made. Yes, for real. And everybody on you on Twitch can hear you right now, man. And you know the point draw I made, right? You know how I lower my ring span just to increase the shot on my play, right? In the playmaking. And 2K21, tell me how come when you decrease your wing span, you will lose. Playmaking, right? Your ball handling. You will lose close shots. Driving layups. Driving dunks. But in 20, 
it decreases it. The same with the height. The taller you make your person on 20, you will gain some advantages, right? And lose, of course, like your sh a little bit of your shooting and like a little bit like, you know, your playmaking, right? But your defense will crease. It's the opposite thing on what they're doing. And I know this video is a long video code. I'm going about like 35 minutes right now. Most of the same thing. But please let everybody know. Don't buy the demo, bro. Save your space. Because they won't let me broadcast the game. I got Kobe, my homie, as a witness. That saw me trying to broadcast the game since 12 o'clock this afternoon, bro. It's 4 p.m. now, and I still can't broadcast 21. Period. Okay? It keeps saying this game cannot be broadcast. Another one of the homies tried broadcasting the game. The same exact thing. Yeah, I think you some people from PlayStation might go to the same experience too, but I'm not sure. But I know Xbox, you definitely can't. I got proof on my Instagram and Facebook right now, and my Twitter, and Tumblr. So in fact, you know, a screenshot that I took from my phone that, you know, 2K know how trash the game is, don't want you to see the gameplay of 21. That how trash the demo is, man. I don't care if this video go for an hour long of me talking about this and ranting about the game. Because all the players on 2K, the community definitely got to stand up, man. If you want another perfect basketball game. Yeah, it's a shame, man. And the other sad thing about it, too, bro, is the fucking glitches in the game, bro. 2K know these glitches when they make the game. The demigod glitch, they know about it. The helicopter glitch, they know about it. There's another glitch to make your person seven foot tall. That's it's on YouTube by another person. Like from the PC, glitches worse than there. They know about this. And I bet you, before 21 even come out, they're gonna have another patch on 20 just to make the game even worse and force people and bribe them to buy 21. That's what they want you to do. They want more money out of us, man. They don't care about how you know we play. Even too in a career game. You telling me I cannot control my own player, but I can put all these hundreds and different thousand badges on dude. And 21, you can barely put the exact badges you want. Say like, so if I want, uh, say for instance, bro, if I want a build, and I get like 10 playmaking badges, like uh, 16 playmaking badges, right? And 16 shooting, 7 finishing, and 6 defense, right? Tell me how come on 21 they limit. So, say if I want a Hall of Fame badge, right? The certain badge I want to be Hall of Fame will only be at gold or silver. They drop the ball, man. Completely. And you know I was live streaming Friday, and on everything, I had Hall of Fame badges knowing damn well and cheesing my height and build for something that damn well should never be happening, period. And people steadily, steadily making excuses for this game, bro. It's just sad. And it's a shame, too, that most of the, like the community just don't know and just don't want to Raps the truth, man. It's facts. They probably hear people like, oh, yeah, they're just comparing to the game. Y'all ain't good at it, blah, blah. No, it ain't us, the players. It's the game itself. They hear us every single year. 
they feed us the same content over and over again. Just update the rosters, the graphics the same, the gameplay works. All that you're paying for is an updated roster. That's the only major we can do. Yeah. The graphics don't look the same. Yeah. And people. Yeah. And people be like, oh yeah, the new console coming out. Who cares? New con this shit gonna look the same, bro. And like, the same games they're pushing out the new console, they're gonna put it out on the Xbox One. That wouldn't get their mind messed up, man. They're expecting that, oh yeah, it's a new console, the game be better. The game not gonna be better, it'll be the same as that bull. Y'all think it's gonna be better, because that's what they're gonna tell you. They think you just fake animations, they just fake trailers. Just to oppress people. Like little kids, man. They don't know nothing. And adults that should know, just like just put your foot down, man. Take it back at GameStop, you know, whatever. Get your refund back. Make so many complaints. Don't do it on YouTube. Do it everywhere. Yeah. 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 You can't steal the game either. Yeah. Bro, you can't even steal it in the game without being called a foul. You know how stupid it is? You can't steal it in the game without they can call a foul. You get penalized. The computers be doing the most in this game. If you a playmaker, how in the hell a center that start off in the game, right? Like from the beginning, like off the bench, get more assists than a playmaker. No playmaking badges, just one on the center that's not a playmaking, a glass center, get more assists and a paint beast. Than a playmaker. I even got proof from Friday video. If y'all want to check that out, proof. Still on my Twitch also that y'all can see this game is a joke. You know, talk your head off. I know most people just clicking off anyway and watching it. So fuck you, but I'm letting know, man. Make sure you check out my homie Cole also. Tell everybody your mixer. I mean your Twitch. <laughs> I forgot missing on system mode on Xbox. And hit him up and hit the homeboy trust code G G thing G I I did his name, yeah. But uh, you'll see it on the video, so hit both of them up, right? Then it's a long video than expected going on 45 minutes. But here's another truth, man. I'm signing out. Peace.